Hi, this is Ron Magliosi of the Museum of Modern Art Department of Film. I want to welcome you to our exhibition of Batista Maddalena, running through April of 2009. Batista Maddalena is an artist who has resided all of his life in Rochester, New York. Um, he's presently uh, close to 90 years old and is um, very pleased with the late found success that his works have come by. In 1924, industrialist George Eastman of the Eastman Kodak Company, who was at that time running a th his own theater, the Eastman Theater in Rochester, New York, hired Batista Maddalena to create unique hand-painted film posters for his theater. What Maddalena would do is take film stills provided by the movie studios and create his own version of what he believed the film um, is like. And he introduced color to a black and white film, oftentimes giving the audience sort of a sense of the mood of the film and the tone of the film. This was necessary because he did not have a chance to see the film before he created the posters. It would take me, uh, say, about when I got in, I had what I, uh, in my mind what I was going to do with a still, a, a portrait or a, a illustration. By the end of the day, I would have it finished. George Eastman told me that he wanted star's name, the film, nothing else. Not too many names. Greta Garbo was terrific because every movement she had, the people loved her. I mean, go on the hand, especially the women. Greta Garbo, the mysterious lady, just put a big head on her, or laced over, and red background, and just the name, because a lot of people knew her. The haunted house naturally you do this. Well, you'd move the letters as if they're moving, you know. He, Madalena worked with uh, tempura paint on poster board, and he would often choose poster board of different colors so that he could use the background color as the theme, as the theme for the poster, and not have to paint the background. In this case, he used black, obviously. Yeah, I used to use the color of the paper as part of the poster to eliminate a lot of work. Between 1924 and 1928, Madalena did roughly 1,400 film posters. Only 250 of those survived. When the theater management changed in 1928, the new owners dumped Madalena's posters into the street. And luckily, the artist himself was able to rescue about 250 of those. I was amazed. I saw these posters with a lot of other stuff there wet. The hell, if they're going to throw them out to, for the pickup guys, I'm going to take them. I saved as many as I could. Madalena put them in his attic where they stayed until the mid-70s. It was about 1978 that documentary filmmaker Stephen Catton happened to be in Rochester when one of Madalena's posters was on exhibition. He met Madalena and ended up purchasing the body of Madalena's work. And that's when the Madalena posters were introduced again to the world. <laughs>